Throughout the last two months, I've been waiting for my medicine interview offers, as I'm sure a lot of you have too. So I thought today I'd give you a bit of an update about what I've been up to and what I've been doing to make this time not feel like an entire eternity. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Harry and I'm a wannabe med student in Australia. I'm also in my final year of studying to be a paramedic. All right, so we're finally coming to the end of the big wait now. I applied for medicine in June, which is probably about two or three months away. And interview offers are now being released in the next week, maybe in the next two weeks. So it's just around the corner. And honestly, I haven't been thinking about it at all. Throughout this whole time, I haven't even thought about it like once. It was just until the other day where I kind of looked at the date and I went, oh, oh geez. Interview offers are out in like the next week or two, <laughs> which, naturally now means that these next two weeks or so are going to feel just as long as the past two months. I mean, <laughs> I had a dream last night that I got an interview offer and I got accepted into Deacon. Yep. It's going to be a long couple weeks. I've been able to keep pretty busy though. Like I've still had all my university classes for my paramedicine degree and I've been slowly trying to teach myself piano on this little beauty right here. And if any of you have ever tried to teach yourself a musical instrument, then you know just how hard this shit is, damn. <laughs> so what kind of prompted me to actually make this video was that I was on the GameSat Reddit page for like the first time in forever. And I stumbled across this post that mentioned people losing their identity while waiting for their medicine interview offers. Like they had nothing to work for or nothing to really try and move towards in the medicine process. So they just felt like they were in like identity limbo or something. And I really just wanted to speak about this a little bit because a lot of the comments actually agreed with the original post. The idea that you're identifying so heavily with one aspect of your life to the point where if you're not actively pursuing that aspect, all the other areas of your life seem to lose significance. I find that just a little bit problematic. I mean, it's great to love your studies and it's great to be committed to this one field of work and it's great to be inspired and fulfilled by this work and all of that because they're wonderful things. The issue arises, however, when our individuality fails to flourish outside of the confines of the work itself. We're all unique people, all right? And we all have our own individual talents and ideas and our unique abilities and little aspects that make us individual and who we are as a person. So it's not fair to ourselves to put ourselves in this little box that is medicine and then prevent us from being able to grow and develop and learn from outside the confines of this box. I understand that this is a big period of pause and a big period of uncertainty in all of our lives. And we're all just sitting here waiting to see where our lives will get taken next. And for a lot of us, this time of uncertainty can make us feel uncertain we can feel lost and feel like we don't have any clear direction so i think it makes it even more crucially important right now to use this time effectively use this time to invest into some hobbies or some skills that you felt you just haven't had enough time for if you've got that book series that you've been putting off get you know get stuck into it give it a good read okay like me i've started reading the witcher book series after having played through the games a multitude of times and i'm I'm absolutely loving them, they are so gripping. So if you guys have played the games at all, I would highly recommend you to read the books because the backstory into Geralt and Yennefer, ah, oh, it's a really, really great series. And as well, try and find ways that you can develop and grow yourself outside of medicine because this is going to help you tenfold later on in your life. Because not only will it help you in this application process, through allowing you to draw on new ideas and thoughts in the actual interviews, but it will also help you become a more desirable applicant next time if you don't get the results you're looking for this application process. Then further on down the track, it will actually help you be a better clinician. Regardless of all this though, is that what's most crucial is that it'll work towards improving yourself so that you can become a better person. Because at the end of the day, what's most important is that we're all growing, we're all learning, and we're all maturing as individual people and not as pieces of a larger system. So try and sit tight. Try and give yourself a break from the consuming world of medicine while you can. I'm confident we will all make it in the end. So sit back and have faith in your own abilities. All right, I'll catch you in the next one, friends. See ya.